hello there YouTube and welcome to Monday the 4th 30 degrees out this morning I think it's made it up to 32 now because all the white frost is is gone anyway we should uh, <coughs> excuse me already be on our way to work but the uh, the neighbor's border collie over there um, definitely not fixed when Abby went into heat I guess it'd be somewhere around 90 days ago he uh he was over here and he's abby's she's pretty quick she you know all the time she gets in heat uh she seems to escape getting got well not so much this time that border collie was quick but anyway uh as we speak she's had two puppies so out of the same father now madison's sister abby is in her giving birth i don't think we've even discussed that Maybe we have, I don't know. But anyway, we're hanging out because it's so cold out here. And she's giving birth in the bathroom. And Abby doesn't like getting stuck in the house. So we're going to have to sort this out for tomorrow. But it's a, uh, God, it's, it's very comfortable. It's supposed to be nice today. Just very cold. I think the high today is maybe 40. But anyway, it's very fresh out here, very quiet. There must not be any logging projects going on because I don't hear log trucks buzzing up and down the highway out there. It's just peace. Anyway, welcome to our day. We're gonna we're gonna stay home today and and uh, cater to the to Abby and her and her little chitlins. We'll uh we'll we'll go in there and give you some updates as we can. <laughs> welcome to the day. Hi, Miss Abby. Abby, can I see your one little puppers here? There's another one hiding in there. The one, other one's behind her. Look at them white feet. Abby says, do not get too close. How you doing there, old Abber Abbers, huh? You and your mom, after over four years of getting to experience motherhood all of a sudden, huh? Alright, I'll leave you alone. Well, seven hours later, Abby's on... <laughs> birds flying over my head Abby's only had three puppies look at these really really old bird houses look all the guinea fowl they're all inside it's only like I said it only made it, it's only made it 38 degrees all them chickens and guinea fowls are hiding in the in the hooch but it has looked like this all day today not once did it look like it was going to clear up it doesn't, I mean, it's just like it's crazy. You can tell it's a fog layer because you can see some bright skies. There's regular clouds up there. This place just gets hunkered in the fog sometimes. And it just stays that way. But anyway, I was out there in the shop fiddling with stuff, so I need to get back to it. You can see them little glows where the regular clouds are kind of up above the, the uh, fog layer. It's probably a beautiful day out here today, but we didn't ever know. No, Abby, will you let me see the puppies? All I see is a bunch of white paws, and, and that's still only three. You're not, you're like your sister. You're just slow producing. You're going to be a good mama, though, Abby. All got them white feet. <laughs> So about an hour ago, I uh, I was hooking up to my uh, Hero 6 Black with my phone just because I set the dates. You know, you can throw all your files together and when you put them in the editor, you just sort by by date and it, you know, as you film throughout the day. But anyway, I was goofing around with that and I was, uh, I forget, I, I was going to experiment with something. Well, lo and behold, there's a firmware update. I think it was at version uh, 1.5 and it went to 1.6 and one of the listed improvements was um, improved low light um, capability. It shocks me to come out here and this thing be clean. But um, anyway, I thought, whoa, that's one of the major weaknesses with that thing is you get any, any low light, it, uh, it goes really bad purple. I mean, really bad uh, purple fringing, <laughs> fringing, and um, 
anyway, so I put the update on there and just holding the camera in my hand, I was like, whoa, I got to do a test. So I walked out on the front porch. Then I walked out outside the shop here with those shop lights on, you know. And, uh, you know, like for this camera, that's perfectly fine. You can see, I mean, it's got a one inch sen sensor in it. You know, this thing will absorb light like crazy. Oh, I need to make sure my battery's charged up. That's that thing. I forgot to bring the keys out here to get into the back trunk there and put that thing back. But, um, anyway, for a GoPro with that, you know, a sensor about the size of a pinhead inside that thing, they do not do super low light like that very well at all. So anyway, I took a couple of clips. Um, I shot it in ProTune in a flat color profile and I kind of over pushed it a little bit and actually reintroduced some purple fringe. I was just trying to make it, well, it's a flat profile so it has like no color to it at all. Uh, so anyway, I, I kind of overdone it. But anyway, here's those, uh, here's those clips. So, GoPro just updated their firmware for the Hero 6. And any of you guys that had one of these things know that it goes full purple when you get in low light. This is crazy low light. So this is the first test of it. It's going to be really fuzzy, but this is like really dark out here, as you guys know from us doing this. Now we'll go do the ultimate test. I'll be right back. Now if this thing picks up anything out here, this will be amazing. This is just the floodlights out here by the shop. This was not recordable before. Ooh, definitely get some lens flare off of that thing. You got nothing out of this. It was just purple, just huge purple frenzing out here. All right. There's a little, wow, that lens flares like really bad. <laughs> This is freakishly dark out here. So that fuzzing that you see, I mean, it, really that's a bad picture. But you, God, I hope that's like a bug's, yeah, it's a bug head. Yeah, man, it looks like a scratch on my old street glide. Ooh, don't hit it too hard. We'll have an alarm going off out here. Um, talked to my son today, it was beautiful, sunshiny. He rode his, his uh, 48 all over today. He's off on Mondays. I think definitely needs a bath. I need to give it a bath and uh, use that formula F11 on there. I should put that on the truck while it's clean too. Hmm. Oh man, it's in a position I can't get around it though. But anyway, he rode around. He said it was beautiful sunshine there. I knew it was just fog hanging out. I told Kelly we ought to take off somewhere. He goes, oh, we need to be here for Abby. That dog don't need us around. <laughs> But she's, uh, yeah, well, I just did a clip of that. You've seen she's doing fine. But anyway, that uh, I, that's amazing that I captured anything with that GoPro at all. If you uh, like the Hero 4, Hero 5 session, Hero 4s, you, you just can't even shoot it in that. It just There's nothing there. You just see dim little things off in the background. It's kind of like shooting in that kind of light with a, with a cell phone. It just it doesn't work very well. So to see that much is pretty amazing. I know I know it looks really bad at ISO 6400, but uh, hey, way better. If you would have seen what it looked like before, um, it was not usable. It was just blue and purple. Just, but as you can see, I introduced some of that by pushing a flat profile. Oh, there. Anyway, I think the mom was. Uh, she's near fixing dinner stuff, so we're gonna have a little dinner before we talk to you. I'll step outside and show you what a one-inch sensor on a thousand-dollar camera looks like. It makes a makes a big difference. Poor old. Somebody even commented on. I think it was on the Motovlog channel. You don't hardly ever ride the spider anymore. I know, and I'm jonesing to ride that thing. Not to taking that thing out if the sunshine would have came out today. It's mama. Watch the dog. I'm going for a ride. So this. Is what a one inch sensor <laughs> and a 1.8 uh, aperture lens get you. She's running at 1.8 at 30 frames a second right now. Shocking the difference, huh? It is absolutely doable to record in extreme low light with the Sony. 
pretty amazing. These things are famous for being able to record in super low light. Anyway, I'm going to head on in. And if you get the light just right on this one, you can get some lens flaring as well. All right, I'm going to head in. Okay, so to be fair with all this, this is the Hero 5 Black. Now this one, you guys have seen me take night rides on this thing. And what's weird is GoPro uh, claims that the uh, Hero 6 Black has way better low light. This is straight out of the camera. And I know this one does a good job. Same lens flaring. That is a bright light shining right at it. But I've always been amazed by the Hero 5 in low light. So, the reason I decided to come out here and show you this is the uh, Hero 5, if you look on GoPro's website, um, I don't know if the camera itself is on sale, but they have some package deals where you can get uh, free SD cards, free shipping, and stuff like that. So, any of you women folk or men folk that has a significant other that might like a, a super awesome, and I do mean awesome camera, the Hero 5 Blacks are on sale. Fantastic camera. I'm standing out here with a sweatshirt in 38 degree weather. I'm going back inside. <laughs> Alright. So this is 10 hours later. Look at the white spot on that one. This is 10 hours after she had her first one. And she has four now, but she's she's not too uh, too excited about letting me see him. She's very very protective. But check that one out with the white spot on his back. Abby, you gonna let me take a peek? Huh? You gonna let me take a look? Let me let me see. The camera's not focusing now. Cause you won't let me see him. You're not very good for vlogging, there, Abby. You're all black, and I can't see nothing. Oh, look at that! Look at that. Oh, you're cute little fellers. All right. So that'll probably be it for filming the dogs tonight. We'll, we'll let you know in the morning how many she ends up having. <laughs> Four would be perfect. You can just stop right there, Abby. I don't know. You're pretty big, though. Oh, and the blue you're seeing is some Christmas lights Kelly has in here. Well, hello there, YouTube. Whew. I don't know why we're sitting out here at 37 degrees. It's pretty crazy. I know it. It actually doesn't feel that bad. I just must be getting used to it. I'm still, I'm wearing my little, my little plaid, little skivvies. Been wearing them all day. <laughs> you got more layers on up top though. Yeah, I've got, yeah, t-shirt, sweatshirt, and my old beat up, um, Carhartt. Carhartt, yeah. But, uh, still four puppies with Abby. Maybe that'll be all, all there is. Who knows? Yep, yeah. she's having them kind of slow. So, uh, you guys let me know what you think about the Go GoPro footage stuff there. The Hero 6 just stomps the Hero 5 in in daylight or even decent light. And the image stabilization, it's quite literally like having the GoPro on a gimbal. It's the craziest thing. And it's digital stabilization. Just look up the reviews. That's been kind of beat to death. The Hero 6 is almost looking at iPhone 10 reviews. They're just everywhere. But uh, speaking of iPhone 10, that thing is sitting in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and should be heading this way tomorrow. Should have it in my hot little hands by Wednesday. Oh, very I'm tired good. of looking at everybody else's and playing with them at Apple stores and stuff like that. It's time for one of those to be in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Your pet uh, Incredible phone. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that Hero 5... What a smoking deal. In fact, I, I I think I still use that, oddly enough, because I keep the Hero 6 more as a like a vlogging camera. I have it set up that way, so when I go for rides, I just flop the Hero 5 on and go, Hero 5 is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, cameras. yeah. And um, I, I still kind of prefer the look of it, but the Hero 6, with its sharpness and detail and that image stabilization I, I i like to use it as a vlog i keep it in linear mode and use it as a vlogging camera it's fantastic but uh 
anyway, um, other than that, goofing around with GoPros and watching the dog and playing around with stuff on my iPad and computer and stuff like that. It's kind of like a regular rainy weekend day. It just never got nice today. No. My no, sun goes out for overcast a all day. Looked like it was going to just like dump, but it was just that heavy fog. Yeah. Ryan said it was about 41. He froze on that 48. Oh, I bet. <laughs> he went out to somebody's house. He goes, ah, oh, it's way too far to go. He goes, I should have just went over. It's funny, he goes stomping around up on Columbia Heights like I used to as a kid. And he lives five miles from where my parents' house was. Yeah. He's just so. at the bottom of the mountain where where we moved when I came up here. Way younger than he is now, that's for mm -hmm. sure. But uh, anyway, we're going to cut this short and sweet. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Tuesday or Wednesday. Thank you. And we got something sorted out for Abby and the puppies. So yep. we'll so. be able to go to work and have to do the old normal thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, it was... If it was sunny in Longview, it was probably wonderful in Vancouver today. Probably. I probably got a stack of work waiting for me when I get there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, that'll be stuff to vlog. Yeah. Not working on, but the bikes. Yes. <laughs> Can't cross that line. No, don't go there. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.